Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petiti Garden Centers and I'm here at Casa Verde. I'm surrounded by citrus fruit, I'm so happy. Um, it's winter time and one of our favorite house plants for continuous, scented, wonderfully fragrant blooming is the citrus tree. Everything from your lemons, your oranges, your limes, and so on and so forth. Um, we tend to grow them quite a bit in Northeast Ohio. And what's great about them is that they can grow inside over the winter for us. And then they make a great patio plant outside. After the last chance of frost, we can start to get them outside, usually about mid-May in our area. Um, so to start out with, are citrus trees. Indoors, they really want bright, indirect light to full sun. So here's the thing, how do we get full sun in Northeast Ohio in the winter? You've got to get it in a southern window, western exposure window, eastern exposure window, as much bright, direct sunlight as you can get. If you don't have that, and it's going to be in kind of a bright, indirect light area, that's fine. The foliage, the plant will do fine. You won't get a lot of flowering. You definitely won't get a lot of fruiting. So um, if you can, supplement. So try grow lights, try adding fluorescent lighting or whatever you can get. Supplemental lighting will definitely help this plant flourish for you, okay? Temperature wise, we are basically talking about household temperatures in the winter. They really don't like to go below about 55 degrees and you can go all the way up to 85, 90 degrees. Wow, talk about a hot house. So um, again, usually our, if you can mimic as much of the tropics as possible, that's going to help your citrus tree as well. Watering wise, they love humidity. So again, spray misting in the morning, setting them on humidity trays with pebbles and water. That's a great thing to do. And then their soil, you actually want to keep them again on the drier side of watering. Don't overwater these plants. Don't let them sit in water, okay? Um, so again, thoroughly moisten the soil again, let the water drain out and then go ahead and put them back in their place or take that water out of the drip tray below them, discard it, and then set them back on the drip tray. So that's always going to help. Another thing with citrus is that their fertilization is actually more acidic. They appreciate an acidic food and an acidic soil pH. So I'm sure you've heard of muracid, holly tone, even citrus tone now. So there is a citrus tone organic food from Espoma that will help with these plants specifically to help keep them blooming and keeping them fruiting for us. We normally won't feed them in the winter time. Again, low light levels, they're not using a lot of their water, a lot of their food, but during the growing season, so again, late March, beginning of April, start fertilizing them regularly, getting them on that schedule, and then taking that all the way through end of September, beginning of October, when you're starting to bring them back indoors, okay? Um, what's the other thing that I wanted to mention? Continuous flowering, look at this. So they are continuously producing beautiful buds in clusters. Once you get flower and fruit set, you can actually thin out the small fruit so you can get larger fruit on the branches. Do be careful if you're pruning this plant. Actually, late winter, early spring is the best time to prune it to kind of take care of some of the size, remove some damaged branches, what have you. But be aware that they can be thorny too. So just when you get your hands in there and your pruners in there, be very, very careful. Other than that, just keep an eye on them. Citrus are notorious for having indoor household pests. We like to use neem oil products, um, organic like insecticidal soaps on them to help relieve them of any type of issue. Other than that, they do really, really well for us. So enjoy. Mm -hmm.